JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for December the 31st. I am Harlamos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main, mar main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, quietly against uh, all but one of the other major currencies on Thursday and during the Asia session Friday. It stayed within a 0.20% range against all except uh, the Canadian dollar. Now, the quiet trading activity doesn't show much about traders' uh, traders' morale, at least those who continued uh, to trade. It just confirms the low activity due to year-end holidays. As uh, for equity market, for the equity market, uh, most European stock uh, stock indices traded in in the green. While later, all three of Wall Street main indices slid, but after the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 hit fresh uh, record highs. Now, today only China Shanghai Composite is uh, tradable in Asia and. Currently, it is higher. The other Asian uh, markets under our radar are closed, with several European ones uh, also scheduled to stay closed today. Only Paris and London will trade for half a, ses for half a session. Now, today is the last day of 2021, and with no major market drivers yesterday and no important events scheduled for today, we do expect a quiet uh, trading activity. However, let's not forget that due to thin liquidity, a sudden market, a sudden market uh, related headline may be enough to cause overstretched uh, reactions. So it may, be, it may be best to protect existing positions by limiting your uh, risks. For example, setting stop loss orders. Now, Given that there is no much uh, to say for today, we would like to discuss what may be the main themes on investors' agendas after the turn of the year, and we believe that it could be uh, COVID again and monetary policy. As far as COVID is concerned, for now, market participants may stay willing to add to their risk exposures and perhaps push equity indices to new highs, as several nations around the globe held off from imposing fresh uh, lockdowns despite record infections around the globe uh, the last few days. With the vaccination rates increasing and the new variant being less deadly than the prior ones, governments prefer to keep their economies open. However, we are far from being experts in uh, medical sciences and therefore we don't know whether more variants will appear and whether infections will accelerate further to a degree at which healthcare systems will uh, be severely affected. Any new concerning headlines have the potential to result in decent retreats. Now, in terms of uh, monetary policy, several central banks have already started removing pandemic-related stimulus and are expected to proceed with aggressive interest rate increases in 2022. The RBNZ, the RBNZ has already hiked twice in October and November, and it is expected to continue that process in 2022. The Bank of England has done so at its uh, December meeting with uh, the, forward, uh, yield the forward yield curve of um, the UK overnight index swaps pointing to another four quarter point increases during the course of the new year. The Fed is expected to deliver three hikes with the Bank of Canada expected to begin uh, the lift of process at one of its upcoming meetings as well. Now, on, uh, on the other hand, the ECB, the RBA, the Bank of Japan and the SMB are unlikely to touch the hike button uh, in 2022. So, 
With all that in mind, monetary policy divergence may be one of the main drivers in the FX market. The currencies, uh, the central bank of which are expected to continue to tighten aggressively are likely to perform better. For example, we see the case for euro dollar to break the lower end of its uh, recent sideways range in the foreseeable future and GBP Aussie to march higher. We expect euro GBP to continue falling and Kiwi yen to march north. Um, that said, there is uh, the risk of, uh, of uh, unforeseen events changing uh, the agendas of central banks, uh, with those expected to tighten more aggressively, having the potential to disappoint the most. In other words, if any of those banks, like the Bank of England, which is expected to hike almost four times, signals that it may not proceed with so many increases, the disappointment could be large and the respective currency could fall notably. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye. Have a great day, happy new year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.